Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. <clears throat> this is from November 30th to December 6th, 2020. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a great past weekend and that Monday started on a good note for all of you. Uh, I don't know if you know, know this about the energies lately. There was a lot of solar flares and uh, a lot of uh, <clears throat> transformations taking place. A lot of people were feeling tired. So uh, my videos are coming in a bit later uh, than usual, uh, but at least I'm here now and that's what counts. I needed to rest uh, so I uh, usually I, I always start with an intro and I just wanted to say that everything that I usually talk about will, is underneath the video so for those of you that are looking for crystals at 10% off there's a link there there's my weekly schedule also I will be doing the current energies on Saturday Sunday uh, for all signs uh, I will be starting this this weekend um, also for those of you that are wanting mark as a healer there's this email address there for those of you that uh, one recommendations on meditation, light work, uh, light language, activations, and healings. There is also someone there as well. Uh, for those of you that want an advanced chart, and like it's a one-of-a-kind chart for Ascension, uh, there is a link there as well. And yes, what else did I want to say? Uh, yes, there's, a, there's also a message uh, from my mom to all of you. She will continue to pray for you three times a day. So please read the message that she leaves uh, in the comments below, well, underneath the video, I meant. And um, so if you do have um, requests, don't forget to include them in the comments, okay? Uh, also, uh, for those of you that want to follow me on social media, there's all my links are underneath the video. For those of you that want to write to me, there's a PO box number. I want to thank everybody here for all the beautiful donations. I do want to take the time to say that I am very grateful for all of the donations coming in. If it wasn't for you, I would not be getting donations. So thank you all very much. And a lot of you keep asking me, where do, where is the link? And uh, it's underneath the video here. On, it's on the right hand page on my YouTube channel or in the in the about section and uh, <clears throat> for any other information you could contact me on my email okay so let's get started with the singing bowl I will invoke uh, Metatron to be here uh, with the, to bring in the uh, divine grid sorry I'm just trying to pull my chair uh, divine grid and <clears throat> down <clears throat> with the Holy Spirit with light love and protection I will invoke our uh, mother Gaia to be here to sustain the reading I will invoke Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you I will invoke as well uh, Archangel Raphael to send healing for those of you that want to embrace it of light uh, of body mind and spirit um, I will invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough and last but not least i will invoke archangel gabriel to raise the frequency of the uh, the collective with intentions of love peace harmony and protection and if you want to put intentions you could and if there's something that you're carrying heavy in your heart or on your on your shoulders that's heavy take a deep breath in and let it go this is the new one okay this is one of my newest ones i just received it today and i'm so i am using it for the earth energies for the first time today this is with the heart chakra, okay? That's the frequency. So now, let's get started. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space and yours as well. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy to those that want to embrace. Open that heart chakra. Sorry about that. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough. Last but not least, <clears throat> Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with love, light, peace, 
trying to hide her treats <laughs> okay so let's start with your affirmation of the week virgos from november 30th to december 6th your affirmation was very quick given to me and it is health of course, <laughs> Virgo energy. And your affirmation is, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Beautiful green energy. Now I will take out uh, the Gaia Oracle. Uh, this, uh, for some of you, this is, uh, you're coming here for uh, confirmations, especially those that are, are um, you know, healers, psychics, mediums, um, astrologers. Uh, some of you will come for an affirmation from Gaia. For others of you, this is going to show me where you've been, where you are now, and where you're going, where you're headed to. And Gaia's um, message to all of you here is that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And all this, in anything that you are going through right now, okay, just know that there is a beacon of light. And Gaia is going to show you that. All right. So this is for Virgo from November 30th to December 6th. Let's look at this together. One, two, and three. That's quick. Let's look at this. Okay, so there's a purification that's taking place in your life, and it's with this with fire energy, purification of fire, and this talks about uh, fire uh, bare essentials, uh, the naked truth and wholeness, the naked truth and wholeness. Okay, and bare essentials. Next one you got is goddess of creation. Goddess of creation. And this talks about transformation, creativity, and wholeness. Again, both cards are saying that there's wholeness coming into one. And last but not least, you got intuitive communication. Intuitive communication. And this talks about silent whispers of the heart. Intuitive communication or whispering. Silent whispers of the heart, intuitive communication. Okay, so that's great. Now let's um, so let's start your reading. So this reading is for Virgo Sun and anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart. This is your reading. Anytime you see this, will be the right time for you. Uh, if it resonates and you claim it without a doubt, then it's yours. Claim it. If it does not resonate, it just means that or you don't understand it, what's going on. It could also be that you're not in your sun sign. And to look at your rising, your moon, which is your emotions. Venus is about money and finance and love. Mercury is about communication. And the north node is about your purpose. So um, now I'm going to show you where you're at. Okay, what's crossing you? What spirit wants you to focus on? Your recent past. What is crowning you? Your immediate future. What is hidden from you and your outcome? And then I will clarify the cards. And at the end of that... I will give you a crystal card. I will give you a romance angel card. And I will give you an archangel Michael card. I hope that you stay tuned till the end. I think the cards are ready. These are new cards. I just received them today as well. They're called the Babylon tarot cards. And I feel that some of you are going to be liking this deck. First card out is the devil reversed. That's a very good card. And especially when it's reversed. Okay. Followed by... Ace of Pentacles. And, <clears throat> and what Spirit wants you to uh, focus on is the Magician. In the recent past, you had the Tower. Unexpected change took place. 
and what's crowning you now. Is the Nine of Wands energy in your immediate future? It's the star. What is the hopes? Uh, no, I, what is supporting you now in the seventh position is the Page of Wands. What's hidden from you? What's hidden from you? Okay, anything. The Lover's energy with justice. Two cards came out, and I have to take it in this way. Okay. Uh -huh. And the hopes and fears. The death card. And in the outcome, nine of wands reversed. Underneath the deck is the three of cups reversed. All for the four of pentacles. Okay. Alrighty. Three of cups reversed is the uh is the, the overall energy, okay. Um, this is this could be someone from your past, Virgo. Now, this now will be not for all of you, okay, but for some of you, okay. Uh, remember, I'm reading for a collective, I'm channeling for a collective here. All right, uh, where you're at now is a Saturn in Capricorn energy. You went through a breakthrough of addictions, uh, toxic people, situations, uh, even thought patterns and how you see things, and how you view things the way, okay? There's some type of release here of freedom, of fears as well. Fears, and for some of you, could also be uh, dealing with a divorce, for some of you, okay? Uh, now, this will not pertain to all of you. What is crossing you is the Ace of Pentacles. There's something coming tangible for you. This is a gift that's coming in, money, some type of money that's coming in, or something tangible for you to start a new project. You've been manifesting this with the magician energy. So the magician meaning is that all the life experiences that you went through, you have all the tools to manifest whatever that you want. In the recent past, it was unexpected change. This is Pluto energy, bang, the divine timing, whatever. The vine came in, you know, and there was some type of unexpected change, whether it's good or positive or negative. We're going to check it out after. Uh, where where you are right now, it's uh, what's crowning you is the Knight of Wands reversed. You're not making a move. There's no certain like making a movement or taking action towards anything at this moment. What is coming towards you or what is the immediate future is the star card. This is Jupiter in Aquarius energy. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. This is about something that you've been wishing upon. Okay, and it's going to come true. This is restoring your faith and hope in a situation. It's about healing, balancing and healing and um uh, coming together here okay there's some sense of coming together what's supporting you is the page of wands divine timing is coming in for you you're seeing all the signs okay you're acknowledge all the signs and the doors are opening up for you as well this talks about also where uh, it's a new something passionate okay that you've been working on okay something passionate a beginning of something passionate whether it's work situation business whatever it is for you What's hidden from you is the lover's card with justice, Gemini, Libra energy, okay? So this is about, could be a, a lover, a friend, a family member, could be a twin flame, a soulmate, whatever it is for you, okay? And something is coming into balance. There's something that's coming into balance for you, Virgo, okay? This is about the truth and nothing but the truth. Someone standing in their integrity. I'm speaking the truth. And everyone that's involved in this situation, whatever the situation is that you're dealing with, okay, will be treated fairly and it's rulings made in your favor. This could be a choice that you're going to have to make. In the hopes and fears, you got the death card, Scorpio energy, okay? There is a death and a rebirth taking place, an ending of a situation, a relationship, or something like that, and a new beginning taking place. This is about removing toxic people, situations, patterns, whatever it is that was not for your highest good and being released. And this is about going with the flow. The outcome is that you have the nine of wands reversed. It's about some of you feel that... Um, there's something that got removed from you that you uh, that you don't have to f feel that you are uh, going after one obstacle after another after another. It's like something got re released from you. Okay, so uh, I do feel that someone is holding back though um, in about uh, opening their heart chakra to you. Now remember, I could be a uh, challenge to you, Virgo, as I this could be vice versa, or I could also be speaking to. Uh, a cross watcher here okay so now let's uh start clarifying the cards here for you all right i already pre-shuffled them before so i'm just going to cut them in three and let's get started into your reading 
Why is the devil reversed here? Capricorn energy. Okay. Hmm. You got the lovers reversed. Okay, so you got the lovers reversed here. There was a choice that was made. Okay, this is during this is something that probably was karmic for some of you, something that had to be released here. There's a breakthrough. There was, was a choice that was made. This could be for others of you, a lover, a friend, a twin flame, a soulmate, whatever, you know, the drill, right? Uh, someone that you're not with each other in a physical right now. But I do see that there's some type of revelations that you are going through at this time. There's a reawakening to like the truth. And uh, you're still not take, doing the transition in the way that you're supposed to. But you will be doing it soon because uh, with this uh, Scorpio energy, this death energy, there's a death and rebirth going in uh, towards you. Someone that you had a break or there was some type of break or time out from. Someone that there was there's healing that's still being done. So you're not you know, forging ahead yet, okay? You're still going through a transition. Why is the Six of Swords reversed? I'm just going to ask for one more card here for you, Virgo. Okay. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Yeah, Magician. So what you're doing is you're taking time out now and you're trying to manifest. I feel that if this is for two people... Our lovers or twin flames or two people. I think that they're trying to manifest each other. You're trying to manifest each other. This is about manifesting, okay? Um, manifesting your heart's desire. Some of you, you're working on your pentacles here. So let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. This is what's crossing you. Something tangible coming in, a gift or money. Okay, Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, so still, there's an energy here. Uh, I don't know if this is you or the other person or the situation you're dealing with. Someone that is still at this point is angry, not seeing things clearly, or there's no communication whatsoever at this time. Yes, there is going to be a completion taking place here. Okay, there's a completion that took place or there will be taking place. Okay, because what's happening here is that Someone did a rash decision, okay, without thinking, okay, they were indecisive, they didn't have patience in a situation, okay, um, and that's what caused this situation here, whoever this is, uh, could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it doesn't have to be that sign, okay, um, could be a, a Sagittarius here, it doesn't matter, someone that did not take, uh, <clears throat> someone were with you or them, they were not in their element, they were not being patient, um, and could also talk about where something had to come into balance here. Something had to come into balance, okay? But with the world card, it shows me that something is coming into completion for you. This is coming coming full circle uh, before you take the next step, okay? So when you come full circle, so circle and the shift to play, a shift will take place, the Ace of Pentacles will come in for you. Now. I just want to take out an extra card for the Queen of Swords reverse with the Temperance reverse. What's the outcome of that situation or person? Are they going to show me? Okay, let's see. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So what's going to take place is I feel that someone is going to travel to you. Okay. Um, now, why I see this is that is why I'm saying this is that. Okay. Because uh, where did I have it here? Someone was holding back, okay, energy. This is what they told me. But uh, someone will not be holding back any longer. Someone will be opening their heart again. And someone is coming towards you, okay? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy doesn't have to be. This is someone that's very practical. They'll take their time. They, it's very calculated. Very, very calculated, okay? Uh, this could be you or them. Or this could be a job coming towards you. But whatever it is, there's some type of completion that will take place. And something tangible will take place from this situation. Now, let's look at the magician in what spirit wants you to focus on. Okay, let's look at the magician. Why is the magician here? Four of Cups. The death card again twice, Scorpio energy and the three of cups reversed. So this is definitely for someone from the past, 100% I see here for some of you. Uh, okay, look, uh, you know, this could have been, a, a, you know, people, situations, a third party situation, whatever it is that failed, okay? Whatever took place is someone is not wanting to look at this any longer. 
whether it's your person, the other person, whoever, okay? They don't want to look at this. They're discontented. They're bored. They're not wanting to see it. They don't want to... Uh, they don't want to know nothing about it. This is what I feel, okay? And with the death, again, you got it twice. Scorpio energy, maybe dealing with someone that has Scorpio rising here. As I see, is a death and rebirth taking place here. There's, uh, it's about, uh, you know, going with the flow. It's about transitions, transformation, ending of, uh, you know, ending of a situation here and manifesting new, okay? Manifesting a new. I feel that this is a mirror to someone else here, okay? Like... Uh, wherever this person is to you now let's look at the power in the recent past unexpected change now what was this all about for this is plural energy the two of wands reversed followed by the ten of wands reversed a lot of fire energy here okay okay for some of you, you were dealing with something that whatever took place in the past that you met. Let's say if you met somebody here, okay, and you thought that that person was the one. You thought that this person was the one. But in reality, something took place where there was changes that took place, okay? With the two of wands reversed, someone dropped somebody. This could be you, Virgo, or you're dealing with another Virgo here. That someone let go of the past and decided to move ahead. Something that uh, the ten of wands reversed. Something was removed off their shoulders. This was heavy stress for them, whatever the situation was, okay? Um, it was not successful with the Six of Wands reversed. This could have been also a business as well, okay, where the King of Pentacles was reversed. This could be you, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy, someone that was unstable. But for some of you, a lot of you thought that this was like a dream come true with the Nine of Cups. But, of course, Pluto came in and uh, unexpected change took place, Okay. That put you probably in this, uh, put you in some type of state, unstableness, maybe losing a job or losing a work or this could also do with work as well. Okay, it does not have to be love. Now let's look at the nine of wands reversed. Okay, there's no, no one's taking action here. Okay, no one's taking action. Let's look at the nine of wands reversed. Why is this here? Why is the nine of wands reversed? You got the eight of coins. So some of you are focused just on your, uh, you're focused just on your uh, finances, okay? Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever projects you're working on, uh, you are really um, perfecting it. And it's about you focusing, okay, on energy, on your pentacles here. Um, some of you are still feeling uh, out of place with the Five of Cups energy, resenting something, purging, releasing, letting go. Um, a lot of you are just focused on um, what went wrong, but you're not looking at the whole picture of the situation. And uh, it's about seeing the silver lining in a situation here. And you lost faith and hope. It could be with an Aquarius you're dealing with, but you lost faith and hope in a situation and you're thinking that this will never come true for you. What's the end result with the, the Five of Cups and the Star card reversed? Can I get another card? Let me see if they give me another card. <laughs> it's, it's up to them. Sometimes they don't want. No, they don't want to show me. Okay, let's look at the star. Because you are getting the star card in the immediate future. So where you had lost hope and faith in the situation, you are restoring it. Okay, there's a true a dream coming true here for you. Okay, and it's about a healing and a blessing. And of course, faith being restored. So why is the star card here? There you go, Virgo. You come into your own reading with the star card. Beautiful, 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 beautiful energy here. Okay, this is about you going within, finding your own star, finding your own star. <laughs> yeah, finding your own light within you and about reassessing and you're taking time out. Okay, um, so you are definitely dealing with another Virgo energy. This is what they're telling me. So, or you're just taking time out and reassessing everything. Just following your path. Okay, let's look at this. Why is the star card here with the Hermit for Virgo? You've got the Queen of Cups energy, Cancer and, and energy. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, it could be either or. A very nurturing, very loving, very psychic energy here. Okay, Ten of Cups energy. Okay, let's look at this. you got the... Okay, yeah. So... Uh-huh. All right. 
Now, this is another storyline. This had to do with someone here that there was a start of some type of relationship that did not go forth. Okay, maybe back then there was too many options or there was a lot of confusion around this individual. Okay, whoever this individual was, they're just showing me what happened here. And something is still not, it's unfinished. There's something unfinished with someone from your past. Okay, Virgo, uh, maybe there's some type of communication that has to come through here. And uh, a lot of you uh, are sleep cannot sleep at night because you're thinking about this person. There's a lot of thinking about this person here. Uh, there's about a lot of worry, um, not being able to sleep. Okay, there's some type of energy in that way. But what I do see here is that with the Ten of Cups energy, there's a start of something new here for you. Okay, uh, this could be a soulmate energy for some of you. Uh, Again, a relationship, let's say for those of you, well, I'm single, I'm not seeing anyone, I'm not dating anyone, whatever. Okay, so then you are contented in your life. Okay, in your community, with your family, with your friends, there's a sense of having it all. Okay, uh, but again, for some of you, this has to do with a relationship. So I think that someone, if someone did block you in the past to communicate, someone is going to be unblocking you, Virgo. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, now, because the truth has to be told. So let's look at the page of wands in the, what's supporting you at this time? Why is the page of wands here? You got the seven of wands energy, overcoming the situation, rising above. The six of cups, reversed. Overcoming nostalgic memories, overcoming, oh, you're just overcoming something that was very dear to you. Okay. Again here, I see the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or it's an energy where uh, there's some type of in unstable in a business or something of your past, okay? And uh, right now, something is coming to you in divine timing and you're rising above this. What they're showing me is that you're not moving forward, you're not taking control and moving forward in whatever this is work or a situation in your life, okay? You're stagnant, you're waiting. There's a waiting period here, okay? Maybe you're dealing with a cancer energy uh, because there's a lot of fears, Neptune energy and Pisces. There's a lot of fears here, okay? That's why you're not taking control. There's fears, uh, uh, deception, illusions around you. You're not seeing something right, okay? You're in the dark, you're in a... You're in a um, unknown territory here okay and it's about releasing the fears difficult moments whatever it is that you're going through with the hangman reverse you're going to surrender to this energy there's some type of surrendering and reawakening that's taking place or with you virgo or with the person you're dealing with okay there's a reawakening that's taking place here now let's look at the lovers and justice of what's being um withheld from you okay let's look at the lovers give me a few cards for the lovers please you got the six, the eight of wands. So there is going to be communication. There's also going to be fast-paced communication. Also, like by this, like if you're driving or, uh, you know, walking distance. Okay, it's not just uh, by phone, via phone, or uh, text messages. It's also a uh, um, short distance travel. So it's about making a choice here. Got the Ace of Wands energy and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is unconditional love within yourself and everybody around you because of all the work that you have been doing for yourself, going within, following your own path, okay? Healing that took place here, okay? This is about a, a brand new, um, it's also a, a start of a relationship for some of you or this is just, it's also being at peace with yourself, okay? Being at peace, feeling unconditional love for humanity or the collective, or a relationship, something that is uh, love and also uh, passion in every area of your life that's taking place, okay? And there's a choice or will, this will be a choice that you will have to make. Now, let's look at justice because they did give me two cards here for what is hidden. So something is coming into light for you, the truth and nothing but the truth, integrity, okay? And uh, like I said, for some of you, this could be a divorce that you're going to be going through, Virgos. Some type of freedom. It's about restoring faith. 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 Okay, it's about restoring the faith in a situation. 
For others of you, like I said, it's like bringing something into balance. Yeah, again, you see the devil card reversed. The devil card reversed. Freedom from fear, from um, fear, from addictions. Uh, it could be uh, your thought patterns, uh, unhealthy relationships. There was a breakthrough. You're karmically Saturn and Capricorn. You're releasing this, okay? Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see. Yep. The Ace of Coins, again, twice in your reading. There's some type of something. Something is coming to you like uh, money, unexpected money. or uh, This could be uh, a gift or it's just something to start you off or something tangible that's coming towards you. With It's the start of something that has a grounded, groundedness. Uh, that, that's the word. That has stability. That's what I wanted to say. Okay. Let's look at the, in the hopes and fear, the death card. Okay, there's an ending of a relationship here, or again, could be a transformation that's taking place, releasing people, situations, whatever it is. Okay, and going with the flow. No resistance here. You got the tower. Oh boy, yeah, <laughs> clue is coming in. Okay, uh, this is a this is unexpected changes that are taking place. Okay, um, it could be harsh. It could not be harsh. I don't know, but there's some type of. Uh, unexpected something unexpected is taking place it's it's yeah something unexpected here coming to clear the energies the divine is coming in to clear the energy okay because you're not seeing something clearly or there's no communication here or it's not someone is being deceitful whatever it is this uh, this uh, tower card is coming in to bring ch beautiful changes towards you okay a beautiful transformation is going to be taking place one more card. The overall. Like that. Yeah. No more withheld information. The truth will be told. Justice is coming in. Again, something is coming into balance here. The truth, integrity. Something is coming into balance for you. Finally. Right, Virgo? <clears throat> yeah. Again, with the page of pentacles. This could be an apology or some type of something, a beginning of something. That's going to be tangible. That's going to be grounded. Stability. A little, it's, just, it's the beginning process here. Okay. Someone is kind of. Someone that has to come into. Okay. I do feel that there's someone here that has to apologize to you. Uh, Virgo or vice versa or cross watcher. And the truth will be told. And nothing but the truth. So let's look at the nine of wands reversed here. You got the king of wands energy. Sagittarius Leo or Aries energy. The Two of Swords reversed. The Eight of Cups. The Ten of Swords. And one more card, please. Five of Wands reversed. Okay. Let me put this here. There's a lot of information here. So, yeah. Maybe your guards should be up, Virgo, just saying, okay? With the two of swords of reverse, it was some type of decision that was made. Maybe logically, but not with your heart. But there was some type of decision that was made. Some of you are going to be walking away from a lot of drama and fighting with an individual. Uh, it's, it was a hard life cycle. And this is not just like one year, two year. This could be 10, 20, or even 30 years for some of you here. Okay, a, an ending of a life cycle and with the king of wands, you're going after what you want, what you want, okay? What you want, okay? So now let's look at the three of cups reversed in the overall energy here. Why is the three of cups here reversed? You got the nine of wands again, upright, frustrated here. The ten of coins reversed. The emperor, some of you were dealing with an, with an Aries energy. And the King of Cups reversed. Okay, someone that is not emotionally available here. Someone that wants to control a situation or the outcome of a situation. Okay, uh, this is about uh, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This could be a business. Okay, maybe at this time something is not going well for you in business. There's no stability or this could be in a marriage or whatever this had to do with. I feel that uh, there's, there's a lot of emotions that are up in the air here. 
uh, feeling frustrated, uh, forging ahead, very difficult situation uh, from your past here for some of you. It's also about you making up new rules and new boundaries as well. Making up new rules and boundaries and having everything under control. So underneath the deck, I have the Eight of Pentacles. So whatever it is that you're working on, okay, whatever that you've been putting energy on, uh, you're going to start seeing a lot of solutions when it comes to work. You're going to have, you know, I do feel that you're going to, there's a lot of solutions, heart and mind together, a lot of solutions, a lot of great communica communication and great ideas taking place here, okay? Uh, you know, I keep forging ahead because, uh, you know, there's going to be victory here for you and uh, some type of proposal. Trust your intuition, Virgo. Trust your intu intuition, okay? And for others of you uh, that are dealing with the inner child issue here, there's an inner child where you're feeling stuck, you're feeling left out, you're feeling there's a heartbreak here. Uh, you will need to do a lot of healing, whether it's you or the other person. Um, inner child is suffering here, okay? Uh, the inner child is really suffering here. And uh, right at this time, you're reevaluating everything in the situation. So now let's look at your crystals. Whew, energy was strong there. Let's look at your crystals, Virgo. What are the crystals for Virgo from November 30th to December 6th? You got selenite. No kidding, <laughs> selenite. And this talks about clear the clutter. Clear the clutter. You can use this for as long as you need it. And now let's look at the romance angels and see what they have to say to you. Virgo, November 30th to December 6th. What are the messages here? Unrequited love means that you have to love yourself first. Okay, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. For others of you, uh, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Some of you are wanting to go get away, even if it's for a weekend. What is this about? Virgo. Okay. Children. Your life life is being affected by your children. Whoever this is, it's worth waiting for. She or he is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Soulmate. Okay, this is your soulmate. Let me see one more card. Let go of control issues, Virgo. And allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. Now, let's look at Archangel Michael. One more time. Okay. Virgo, from November 30th to December 6th. What are the messages? What is it you want to tell Virgo's Archangel Michael? Oh, he's thinking hard about this one. Oh, yeah. He's thinking... <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. You got a lot of cards here, but I have to read them uh, because there's a lot of you here. Okay. So the first one is time to leave this unhealthy situation is the first card you got. And your prayer is Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. Then they're saying your children are watched over by angels. This is beautiful. Dear guardian angels of my children, born or unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. Next one, honor and trust your feelings, Virgo. Okay. And your prayer is, thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. And last but not least, keep your eyes on your targeted intention. And your prayer is, thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. So I know this is a long reading, but thank you for all being here. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back, and I love you, Virgo. This too shall pass, and I'll see you next week, and please take care.
Bye.